All right, guys, KK4PYN here again. And uh, I want to make a quick video. I know videos have been sketchy lately. Um, I apologize. I'll try and get my channel back up and running here shortly. I'm just uh, trying to get everything together for a little adventure I'm going on. So, at any rate, I wanted to talk to you guys today about um, Andy's Ham Radio Linux, something I found quite a while ago. Um, there's plenty of SDR software in Windows and um, it's semi easy to use but um, I prefer Linux because I can keep up with stuff so um, Andy's Ham Radio Linux is a, a complete distribution with all the ham radio programs built in it's not a secret it's been out for a while um, and it's uh, it's relatively easy to use. I'm going to show you some some basics here with it today. So let's get started. And I apologize for the horrible video. I don't have screen capture software set up on this. So so what you got here is a menu with all of your uh, different programs and this is based on Debian. It's real sparse. You can see there's nothing on the desktop or anything like that. Um, you basically load it, you know, download it from SourceForge or wherever. Load it to a DVD, uh, USB stick and just install it. You can in live, you can install it live and run it right over on your Windows PC. Um, or you can install it to your hard drive next to Windows or another Linux like I've got here. Um, do take notice that it's only for 64-bit systems right now. Uh, don't know why, but at any rate, uh, this comes with a lot of programs built in. Um, you've got antenna modeling programs um, that everyone's heard of, NEC, stuff like that. There's programs for CW. Um, ebook to CW is an interesting one. You type in or load in an ebook file and it'll transmit it in CW. It's kind of cool. Digital modes um, Echo Link, FreeDB, which is uh, D Star, FL Digi, which we all know about um, for doing all your digital modes in CW. Um, there's a bunch. Slow Scan TV, Tiny Track 3 for uh, PRS, um, Whisper, Hackett Radio, you name it. There's also some um, different tools for electronic design. Here's a resistor calculator. We've got HF propagation over here, your beacons, your DX cluster maps, stuff like that. Uh, a couple different logging programs. You got rig control. Chirp is to program uh, handhelds and stuff like that. And these will work with uh, like Yesus and icons with cat control, stuff like that. Um, satellite programs. Uh, the one that I use is gpredict. Um, I'll show you all the satellite passes you enter in your coordinates. And uh, it'll show you all the satellite passes. Uh, and stuff like that and then the one that we're all looking for is SDR um, GRC is a GNU radio companion um, this is some examples I have there are tons of examples if you want to play with GNU radio um, this is the way to do it the GQRX is one that I use most often uh, it's a very very simple layout uh, we don't have our dongle plugged in here so it's asking me for an input device, I'm just going to put other, it's going to default to the sound card, hit OK. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this, this video is horrible, I just wanted to show you guys this. All right, it's not going to work without me putting in <coughs> SDR. So, let's try this real quick, I've got my trusty new Alec dongle here. See if we can make a shaky, crappy video even worse. How about that? Mm -hmm. For a second. Uh, 
All right, we got that plugged in. We've also got the uh, up converter plugged in. Now let's see what happens. Go back to amateur radio. All right, now you can see when the menu comes up that the Realtek RTL2838U is showing up. Leave everything else the way it is. Hit OK. And there you go. This is uh, GQRX. Um, I find it to be very effective. Start it up here. And pass through. See if we can get some action here. I always go to the uh, weather channel to check out, make sure everything's working. And you know you're going to find it there. Uh, I got right, squelch is probably the problem. Again, this is a horrible video. Narrow FM. I had this problem the other day, and it was just a matter of getting the sound going here. Input controls. Okay. Audio settings. There's the signal. That's what we're looking for, so I know it's there. Got to remember how to turn up the volume on this entire system. It's a little bit different than. Sound. Have you control? All right, so yeah, we're not putting sound. Oh, I, you know what? I'm an idiot. I had the the damn headphones plugged in. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so here we go. We're on uh, the Weather Channel here on the NOAA Weather Channel. Um, you can see there's the output there. So. Uh, I'll do another video with uh, some better quality showing it all the features and how to use some different stuff but it's a good program it's got uh, pretty much everything you need it's got um, your gains your receiver options it's got some different filters here Uh, you got a couple different bands, or uh, different modes, CW, upper sideband, lower sideband, wide FM, narrow FM. Um, so if we go into wide FM, come down here to... Uh, let's try 98.9 here in Orlando, hopefully it's not a big deal to rebroadcast. So, there you go, that's the local FM station. Alright, enough of that because uh, we don't want... Let's go to AM. Got some aircraft traffic here. Oh, what do we got there? It's 
But at any rate, you can see it works. Um, you can go up into the hand bands here. Let's try one point two three ninety. Narrow FM. Somewhere around here, you should have a PRS. I'm not on the right antenna for this. Let's go ahead and switch on that. Pass through here. And receiver options, input controls. Back this up and do 125 megahertz. Quick. Sorry about the noise. So, um, gives you the option to change your LMB here. Five. Uh, so, we're going to go way down here. And you can see the VFOs coming down. One twenty five should do it. Ooh. All right, so we're on seven dot. There we go. Go back to receiver options. We'll go into lower sideband. Make this bigger. So there you go, it's uh, 40 meters, lower side band, and we can see the whole band here, and we've got 6.6 megahertz over here and 7.9 megahertz over here, so this is the entire 40 meter band right here, so it's got some uh, noise blinker options. What do you think, Frank? So yeah, so there you go, no compiling, no uh, no messing around, you just install it, run it, and you're good to go. And again we're just using the Newelec NESDR dongle here. If you get on my Twitter feed, you can get the link to that. That's this dongle here. And then the uh, ham it up up converter. And um, it's just hooked up to the outside antenna here to a G5RV. And we've got an entire. Uh, I mean, it turns your computer into a communications receiver. I <laughs> mean. You can get everything with the up converter and the dongle. You can get everything from uh, everything from the AM broadcast band to you know 1.7, 1.8 gigs. Some of the dongles go higher. So anyway, I won't drag this on too long. I just wanted to quickly show you um, what you could do with it. Let's see if we can get WWV here real quick so we can. I'm 
some other digital modes going on. I'm going to switch to AM over here. There's some uh, shortwave broadcast. Try UFB on 15 here. WWD, sorry. Yeah, it's in there, but it's weak. Let's see if I can pump up the gain here. There it is. So that's WWV on 15. Now you see that the VFO shows are on 14.990. Um, you can adjust this number right here to get dead on. And there's also a frequency correction that you can adjust. But, you know, it's close enough. And if you look at it, here's some, uh, you know, broadcast right up, right up the band from it. So, it's a powerful tool. Um, you can receive just about anything on these. Um... I'll hook it up to the other antenna and in another video I'll show it um, decoding APRS but yeah it's weak in there but you can hear uh, I'll put it down in front of the speaker WWV on 15 megahertz. So that's all there is to it. Like I said, I'll try and make some better videos. I know this one was uh, probably painful to watch with all the camera shake and all that stuff. But um, I've been messing with SDR a lot. This is uh, SDR Sharp on a Windows computer over here. The video including that too. Um, what I got to do is find out how to do screen capture on uh, on this program so that I can um, get some better quality stuff and uh, anyway that's all for now um, stay tuned you got more to come make sure you follow me on Twitter and Flickr just type in my um, call sign KK4PYN and uh, keep up with what I'm doing 73 you guys <laughs>